Can't wait to design your first website or build your existing Divi website and make it look even more professional. This video is for you. The Divi Style Guide Pro helps you design professional looking websites in no time. Let me show you what I mean. So these are all the pro modules pre-designed for you. You can use these at any time just by a click of a button. So these are page titles, these are headings, paragraph text, quotations, even notices. As we scroll here, we can see there's testimonials. We also have buttons. So as you can see, we have different types of buttons to choose from as we design. And the most important thing is you can even go in and further style these buttons to your liking, changing the colors and also the fonts. Now, as we scroll through here, we also have these blurbs. And as you can see, we have different styles that suit any type of design. We also have image presets. And over here, we also have blog presets, contact forms, social media icons, accordions. So look what happens when I click here. Everything is all styled and everything is mobile friendly. And as I scroll through here, we also have call to actions and also short codes, videos, and so on. Quite a lot has been designed ahead of time for you. So you don't have to spend a lot of time designing all these modules when you use Divi. Now, let me show you how this style guide works in action. So step one is to buy the style guide. The link to that is in the video description below. So once you buy it, you get this file here called DV style guide pro dot zip. Next, you want to unzip this file. So I'm going to double click on it. Great. And then you want to see these two files in this folder. Double click again to go into the file. And these are the two files that we're going to be working with. Next, make sure you're running Divi because the Divi Style Guide Pro works with Divi. And then scroll all the way down here to Divi and then click on Theme Options. The first file we need to install is the color palette. So to install it, you want to go to these two arrows here called Portability. Click on Import. Now remember, we downloaded our files. So I'm going to come over here to choose File. And as you can see, this is my folder, which has my two files. So the one I need to install here is the color palette. So I'm going to click on it, click open, and then I'm going to import DV theme options. So this now is going to install our color palette. Great. Our color palette has been installed. I'm going to now click on save changes. Next, I need to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. Uh, let's call this page my style guide. I'm going to click on Use Divi Builder. I'm going to click on Start Building. Now it's time to install our style guide. So I'm going to click here on Expand Settings. Click on these two little arrows here. Click on Import. And then you want to click here to import our style guide. So I'm going to click here. In fact, you know what? Before I click here, I need to make sure Import Presets is selected. And then I'm going to click here on No File Selected to locate our file, which is right here. So this is the Divi Style Guide Pro. So now I'm going to click open and then I'm going to import it. So when this page takes a long time to load, just be patient because there's a lot of presets that are loaded onto this page. So this will just take a bit of time. So now that we have our style guide uh, imported, the next step now is to start building our pages. So my best practice when I use the Divi Style Guide Pro is to make sure that this style guide is open while I design my other pages. So let's go ahead and create a new page. So I'm going to click here on page and I'm going to open this in a new tab so that I have my style guide open here. So now let's quickly build our page using our new style guide. So I'm going to give this page a name. Let's call this my design. Now for this, I'm going to build from scratch. Now let's start with our header area. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, go with full width, and I'm going to go with full width header. So I know I have my presets here. So I have a three different styles. I've got this one here. I also have uh, this one with an image on the right. And I also have this one here with a gradient. So I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose it from the presets. Here we go. Okay, so here it is. So the next step is to add my image over here to the right. So I'm going to click on this plus button. And the image I'm going to use is this one right here. Upload image. And now you can see my image, my image has been added. I'm going to save. Now let's continue on. I'm going to start adding more elements to my website. So I'm going to come over here, click on regular. I'm going to start off with a single column. And in this column, I need a section description. So I'm going to add a text module like that. Come over here to my presets section description. 
And then all I have to do is to give this text here a heading. So I'm going to set this to, say, heading 3, and then choose my heading 3. And here it is. So now I have heading 3 and my description text here. So this is where you replace this text with your text. So I'm just going to assume that this is going to be my main text. I'm going to save that. And moving on, I'm going to come over here. Let's add three columns. So I'm going to add blurbs in here. So I'm going to search for my first one. There we go. Now, this is where I need to use my reference. So I'm going to come over here to my style guide. And then I'm just going to go to all the blurbs here and see which style we have. So I think I'm going to go with this dark one here. On the presets, I'm going to click on the drop down and go for dark blurb. So all I need now is my icon. So I'm going to come over here to image and icon. And the icon I'm going to use is, let's go with this camera. Okay, I'm going to save that. And now I can just duplicate this, drag it into position, duplicate it one more time, drag it into position. Okay, let's carry on. Now we also need another section. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, click on regular. And uh, this time I'm going to uh, add some testimonials. So I'm going to go with this layout type, search for my testimonial. Again, I'm going to come over here to my reference. So I'm going to go with this one here, the light one. Click on this drop down. There we go. Next, I'm just going to add my content. So I'm just going to replace my dummy content here. Come over here to my image. And I'm going to add my image. So I'm going to go with this one here. Let's add the name. Okay, so that's looking great. I'm going to save that. Now let's give this a background color. So I'm going to come over here, go to my background. And this time I'm going to go with a really dark background like that. And notice my colors are working well because these are colors from my color palette that we installed earlier on. Save that. I'm going to duplicate this one here. Now let's change the contents. So I'm going to come over here to image, place a different image, change the name. Over here, I'm going to add a video. I'm going to select it. I'm going to come over here to my preset and go with video one. And then on the overlay, I'm going to add an overlay image. And this is the one I'm going to go with, upload an image. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to save. And I'm going to need a section description here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click here on this plus button, add a single column, text module. Now notice how easy it is because everything has already uh, been uh, pre-designed for me. All I'm doing is I'm just picking up the building blocks and just adding them onto my design. So here I'm going to go with section description. I'm going to replace my text here. I'm going to change this to heading three. And then over here on the uh, section description, I'm just going to make sure that I go with heading three, light. There we go. Now this has been changed to light. And then all I have to do now is to go to my paragraph here and just change the color and just make sure everything is all centered. I want to save this, drag this to the top. So now my section has a description. So as you can see, I was able to go in. Oops, I need to delete this. There we go. So as you can see, I was able to go in and add all this content and everything is all styled for me. If I need to change anything, I can just go in and change the presets or even change the colors to whatever color I want. So all these modules are already designed for you. All you have to do is to go in and change your colors and also your fonts. And pretty much, as you've noticed, I did not spend a lot of time trying to design my buttons, my text, my paragraph text, line height, and so on. And also, this design is mobile friendly. So, so it's going to look great in all devices. So you may be wondering, how much does this style guide cost? Well, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, this style guide is 100% free. All you have to do is to let me know that you've bought it using my affiliate link, and I will give you this style guide absolutely free. And you also get my course, which is called Web Design Formula, which teaches you how to design professional looking websites using Divi. But if you've already bought Divi, no problem. I have a discount. This is a special discount. The link to that is in the video description below. Use the coupon code and get your discount and buy this at a discounted price. You can use this Divi Style Guide Pro on unlimited websites. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and start designing your professional looking websites using the Divi Design Guide Pro. See you in the next one.